loving Father, here I stand and pray for our nation Sri Lanka, which is the pearl of the Indian Ocean. Lord, we just praise and thank you because you are the creator, you are the sustainer of that nation, and that nation belongs to you. And therefore, Lord, we bring that nation where we live in, and Lord, we want to see that everyone in that nation come to know you and worship you. Lord Jesus, I bring our nation repenting of their sin, very especially the sin of idolatry and worshipping of false gods that breaks your heart. Lord, have mercy for worshipping the creation over the Creator. Lord, we also pray for the sin of bloodshed as a result of a 30-year ethnic war, shedding of innocent blood that brings a curse to a nation. Lord, as we repent and confess this sin and ask you for forgiveness, I thank you, Lord, that your precious blood will wash our nation clean. Also, the sin of bribery and corruption at the highest of levels, O oh God, which is a grave sin where the rich are becoming richer and the poor becoming poorer. Lord, have mercy of this greed and also our nation that is stooped in witchcraft, people deceived by Satan, indulging in practices that are so evil. Lord, this day we cry because we see your tears and we see your heart and we identify with the sins of our nation. Lord, that is persecuting your people, the Christians, O oh God, which brings a curse because you said you will bless those who bless your people and curse those who curse your people. I bring the leaders of our country because we know that it is you who have placed them, but they are blinded and they do not know you. Lord, I pray that our leaders will lead our nation with righteousness and justice. I pray that, Lord, you will remove those wicked people around our leaders and give them good advisors and, and lead them in the right way. Lord, we also pray that you will look upon our nation and its people, the majority of whom do not know you, Lord, who are going to a lost eternity. Lord, we know that your heart's desire is that no one perish, but it all come to eternal salvation. We cry out, Lord Jesus, their blind eyes will open and they will know that you love them and that you came and died on a cross for them, O Lord. Lord, I pray that you'll bring salvation to our nation. Heavenly Father, we also pray for the extreme poverty, people who are dying and committing suicide because they have nowhere else to go and they are hungry and poor and they are lost. And I pray, bring our nation out of this curse of poverty and make it a fruitful nation, Lord. We bring you all the glory, the honor, and the praise, and ask you all this in the precious and matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.